You're watching Sunbelt Conference Baseball from Atlanta on ESPN. Well, after scoring 18 runs on 19 hits Friday night in the series opener, Georgia State's bats were much quieter Saturday as Arkansas State bounced back to win game two 11 to three. Behind five innings of four hit pitching from starter Kyler Carmack, Red Wolves scored 11 runs on 12 hits. It's the series deciding game three here in Atlanta this afternoon at Panthersville. Hi again, everyone. Dave Cohen here from the GSU Baseball Complex. As you see Friday night, it was a slugfest behind the pitching of Ryan Watson, who picked up the win for Georgia State. 18 runs on 19 hits in the series opening win. Arkansas State bounced back behind the pitching of Kyler Carmack on Saturday as they beat Georgia State by an 11-3 score. Luke Boynton over at first. Michael McGinnis getting a start at second in the third game of the series today. Matt Ruiz at short. Will Mize over at third. JoJo Jackson, the starting left fielder. Caleb Stewart, a start out in center field. His second start of the season. And Cameron Jones out in right field. Max Ryerson is your designated hitter. And we are underway here at the ballpark at Panthersville. Strike on the first pitch to Will French. Count full. Here's the payoff pitch. Acosta to Kasky. Straight on fastball. How about a called third strike looking? And for Rafael Acosta, he picks up his first strike out of the ball game, and that is number 25. Payoff pitch on the way to Hager from Acosta. And there's a called third strike breaking ball. And Hager thought he had ball four. Instead, he's caught looking. Sunday afternoon. The first pitch is lined out into left field, and that is gone! McGinnis didn't know that it cleared the wall in left until he made the turn at first. And McGinnis takes the first Brian Bernard pitch of the ball game and puts it over the fence in left field. For McGinnis, his third home run of the season. Jumper awaits the one two from Acosta. Swing and a miss. He's down on strikes. Rafael Acosta picks up his third strikeout. The 2 0 delivery. And this one here is hit out into center field. Caleb Stewart moving over on the run, makes the catch for out number three. Well hit ball off the bat of French. Nice job defensively there to run it down. Acosta's one, two. And that's hit into the air, into the gap in right center. Who's gonna have a play on it? It'll be Cam Jones. Toller will double back to second. And that's gonna be a chopper to short. Fielded there by Ruiz. McGinnis covering the bag at second. They get Hager on the force. Three home runs, 11 RBIs, 19 hits. This one hit on the ground towards shortstop. Darcy will scoop it up, make the throw to Hager. Pulled him off the bag. Hager tried to reach around with the glove hand and make the tag, but McGinnis was already on the bag at first. Armstrong's 1-1 pitch, and that's looped and lined into left. McGinnis will turn at second. Now he's going to hold up. And the Panthers with one out have runners at first and second. And that is going to be a ground ball to first. Boykin will field it. Three unassisted on the putout, but the lead runner, cross jumper, heads over to third. Acosta's 2-1 pitch. And that is a line drive right into the glove of McGinnis at second. And French will be out number three. And he gets a hold of this one. Golf set out into right center, looking up, and this ball is out of here! Second pitch of the at-bat, he takes Chase Armstrong deep into right center. And JoJo Jackson, his ninth home run of the season on his 33rd hit, and the Panthers take a two to nothing lead here into the bottom of the fourth inning. He got every bit of that one, and you could hear it coming off the bat up here in the TV booth. And gets the first pitch that Armstrong delivers and lines it out to left field. The second hit of the ball game for Max Ryerson. Back-to-back -back singles, both out to left field. Ryerson with hit number 45 on the year. 1-2 pitch. Again in the dirt, gets away from DeBeauty over towards the Georgia State dugout. Ryerson will head down to second on the wild pitch from Chase Armstrong. And that's going to be a chopper towards short, scooped up there by Darcy. The throw across, again, off the plate at first. 
Hager tries to catch the ball again and swing it around like he did against McGinnis. Here's the 2-1. And this is lined out into left center. First hit of the afternoon for Cameron Jones. Hit number five for Georgia State here in the ball game. And that misses. It gets by the glove of DeBeauty. And now they don't have to worry about Cam Jones anymore at first as he's down at second base on the wild pitch there by Wiseman. Count full. Ruiz digs in the payoff pitch. Jones running with the pitch. Here's the throw down to third. It actually hit him in the back. But he was already aboard at third. Set. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And that's going to be a comeback to the mound. The throw to second for one. Is there a play at first? Panthers turn the double play. One to six to three. And they make quick work of the Red Wolves here in the top half of the seventh. Three balls and a strike to Ryerson. And how about a five-pitch walk to start the seventh inning here for Georgia State. And this one is lined into center field. Greer throwing back into Darcy, the cutoff man. It's short. Jones digs back in. Here's the 2-2 from... Tyler Jeans, and that's lined back up the middle. Tie ball game as Ryerson will score from third. They're going to hold Boynton at third. And Cam Jones delivers an RBI single right back up the middle, and we got a 3-3 ball game. Jackson to first, Hager to second, and he throws wide. Darcy can't take the throw. Boynton will score from third. Panthers go up 4-3. It'll be a throwing error on Hager, the first baseman. Third error of the ball game committed by the Red Wolves. And the right-hander comes set the 0-2 pitch. In the dirt, and it got away from DeBeauty, and Cam Jones, ever the heads-up base runner, scores from third. The Panthers go up 5-3 to three on the wild pitch by Tyler Jeans. DeBeauty couldn't find it initially. And by the time he was able to locate where the ball was, Cam Jones was halfway down the line between third and home plate. And Ruiz lines this one out into right center. Jackson will come in and score from third. It's a four-run seventh inning for Georgia State. The Panthers now go up six to three. Turns and fires, and they popped him up here in the infield. This could be it. Who's going to call for it? And the catch is made by McGinnis. A correction, Taylor Schultz, and Georgia State holds on to win the ball game. <laughs>